Welcome to Real TV News. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell that every time I put out a new content, you'll be notified. I made this channel because I want to make a difference. I want my channel to be different. I want my channel to, I could say this one is for a lot of ladies out there that go through stuff in their life and still going through stuff. Um, hard times, good times, bad times, you know. And I'm part of this again, Monique. As I say, um, probably you're the main one why I'm doing this, this section, this, these episodes, and I want you to be encouraged, um, I want you to, um, feel free, and as I say, you really have a good person in your corner, and that person is Andre, he's really doing a good job, and he's doing a good job with a lot of people. And, um, I respect him highly. Yeah. He's got a good soul. And, um, Jesus have mercy. This kind of touched my heart in a different way. Touched my soul in a different way. But during these times when we do experience pain, it's not immobilized. By fear, our pain should be our strength and it should be an invitation to the journey within us. It should be a signal for us. It should be a time of reflection and new choices. Pain opens the door to understanding. You know, sometimes when we feel that too much joy and success will bring and into us, after all, it was only through suffering and pain that we felt alive. The, then our passion for life kicks in. And sometimes it reminds us, it reminds us that we're not ready to leave this journey or the journey. And you have to understand that there are dimension of us that have never touched and maybe never will at least not in this lifetime this very mystery of life fuels us with energy of living loving and seeking the truth but where we do where do we go for the truth where we find the truth when it's like everyone we turn to or you turn to failed you, which was bad. We have to learn to stop blaming all the evil people in our life for what they have done to us. We have to take responsibility for our involvement with these people in the first place. We could see the anger in our adult life was coming from the hurt that we have in our childhood. But the thing is, we have to understand that this anger was the missing link, the missing link to our, to our original pain, the wounded child inside of us. We were wounded from we were kids. We were wounded from we were kids. But who believe that they deserve abuse in life? Or after the abuse and everything, then you fill yourself with shame and self-hate. No. Don't try. You don't try to validate your survivability. Do that and do that. I could clearly say that. It may lead you to horrible situation just to prove that you could survive. 
but you set your we set ourselves up for so much pain so much abuse our defenses could no longer protect us and then finally finally we might realize and understand how much of the fear how much of the fear where we were was a greater than the fear of where we wanted to go only then sometimes you know we could we feel our original pain from the first time that we were able to grieve or even realize that we was we were using all our strength in giving out energy never getting anything back and then you wonder why why we feel so weak we ask ourselves, why are we feeling so weak? But you have to understand the reality that we are not weak people at all. We are not weak at all. We just try to tell ourselves that we are weak. But you have to sit, you have to look and say, what you survive, what we survive as a child. If the kid in me was that strong imagine how strong i should be as an adult you have to say to yourself it was here i learned about my choices something so simple and free as a choice was something we never knew we realized that as an abused child we had taken on ownership of the abuse rather than feel helpless only by owning the abuse as a child but you never let that keep you helpless never let it keep you helpless as a in your adult life never take that abuse as a child and build on and let that be of good purpose that should strengthen us you have to turn all that anger and rage and never you turn the anger and the rage on yourself. The anger we turn towards fill us with depression and shame and kept us from knowing that we have other choices but not to suffer. Sometimes we say slowly but surely we got the negative energy out of our life. We learn to channel our inner strength and taking risks in safer, and more productive places. And then when we realize we give out energy, there is higher probability that we'll receive energy back. But I'm going to say to you, Ladies, women out there, today I am successful, professional, but most of all, I feel peace within. I am successful, professional, but most of all, I feel peace within. We have to work on it. We have to work on it. And there are people. There are people out there that can help, strengthen, encourage. I'm going to rest my case on this one. And I'm going to say again to God, be our glory for the things we have done without Him. We are nothing. We are absolutely nothing without him and i pray god mercy i pray god strength i pray god recovery i pray god peace for you my girl i pray peace i pray nothing but good for you you got my heart you have my heart and i thank god that you're otherwise from god you're in good hand. 
you're in good hands. God bless you, Andre. God bless you, Andre. And all the best. And may God bless you forever and ever. Glory to God. I come to the end of this one again. And I'm going to say, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. This is another day that a lot of need be blessed, be joyful, and rejoice in it. Thank you all. Have a blessed one.